If you're solving something that is exponential, the way you want to do that is to first isolate the exponential part, getting it by itself. Next, you'll take logs of each side. That allows you to move the exponent down to the front, down as a multiplier, where you'll be able to get at it. The third thing to do is to solve and then check if you like. Remember that when we solve things that were logarithmic, you have to check. These, it's just a good idea to check. Let's see if we can do one. For this one, first thing that needs to happen is to move the one across so that I can isolate the part that has an exponent. This one is subtracted, so as I move it to the other side, let's add it. Now, to get that exponent down on the ground where we'll be able to get at it, let's take a log of each side. You can do whatever kind of log you like. I prefer to do an ln because it saves me one letter to write. Now, whatever I've done to one side, I have to do to both sides. Once we've taken the log, now the exponent can move down in front as a multiplier. It technically should be in parentheses since all of this is to be multiplied times ln of 2. This is equal to ln of 32. Now since these things are being multiplied together, let's take uh, both sides and divide by ln of 2. You can type that in your calculator and see that when you divide ln of 32 by ln of 2, you're left with 5. This linear equation to solve now requires me to isolate the x, subtracting 2 from both sides and dividing by 3. Looks like 1 is our solution. If you put 1 in, you can see that it works. 3 times 1 made 3, plus 2 is 5. 2 to the 5th power made 32, and 32 minus 1 is 31. Let's try another and see what we can do with it. Again, I need to start by isolating the exponential part. So let's move that 1 across. It was added this time, so I'll subtract to move it. 17 minus 1 gives me 16. Now let's take a log of each side in order to be able to move that exponent to the ground where we can get at it. When I do that, I now am able to divide both sides by this ln of 4 so that I've got the stuff in parentheses where we can solve for x. Again, if you type into your calculator ln of 16 divided by ln of 4, this time you would get 2. Be sure that you press equals after you've done that ln of 4 or your calculator is not telling you the entire quotient but just what ln of 4 is. Once we're here, let's add the 7 and divide by the 2 to get 9 halves as a solution. You may be looking at 9 halves and thinking, boy, I don't want to check that one, but it's really not so bad. If you take 9 halves and you substitute it in, the 2 that is here with the 2 that is there will cancel out, leaving you just a 9. 9 minus 7 leaves 2. 4 if I square it is 16, and 16 plus 1 makes 17. So 9 halves is the correct answer. When you're solving something that is exponential, Isolate the exponential part, then you want to take logs of each side. Solve it from there and check if you like.